Hi, this is Gary with Mac Most Now. On today's episode, let's look at Mac OS X Lion gestures. So gestures are when you use your trackpad on your MacBook or using a magic trackpad and you swipe or pinch or do something else with usually more than one finger on the trackpad. There's a bunch of different shortcuts built into OS X Lion that allows you to do things using gestures. Now let's say you have a magic mouse. Now magic mouse has a surface on the top that's multi-touch so it can do gestures as well but there are different gestures. You can see there's only point and click and more gestures here. Uh, you can swipe between pages as before but it's only one finger not two finger fingers. Swiping in spaces in Mission Control there is left to right with two fingers rather than three or four. Mission Control is a double tap with two fingers. So completely different gestures here for a magic mouse than you do with the full trackpad. Now, if we go back here, we can look at some more things. Mission Control, you get by swiping up with either four fingers or three fingers, depending upon how you have it set. So I could do it with four fingers here, and there's Mission Control, and back. App Expose is kind of like the opposite of that. It's where an entire app and all the windows will show themselves. So let me open up a second window here in Safari. Now I go down with four fingers, so you can see how it shows me all the windows for the app that I'm using. You've also got Launchpad, which is where you can pinch with three of your fingers and a thumb and bring up the applications and blur everything behind it. And show the desktop to clear everything away. You can basically spread out. A little difficult to do, but there it is. So the first thing you want to do when trying to learn about gestures is to go to the System Preferences on your Mac and choose either mouse or trackpad depending upon which device you're using. So for instance, I'll choose trackpad since I'm on a MacBook right now. And you can see there are three categories here under trackpad. Point and click, scroll and zoom, and more gestures. All the gestures are listed under these three categories. And you can see there really aren't that many of them, so it's pretty easy to learn. Some of them aren't really even gestures. Like for instance, the first one here, you can switch to tapping for a click rather than actually pressing down the trackpad. So one is just basically touching the trackpad, the other is pressing it physically down. Secondary click, that's like control click or sometimes it's called right click. That can be done with two fingers. So for instance on the desktop here, if I click with two fingers, you can see it brings up the context menu. That's click, not tap. It's important to remember the difference. And you can also do things like a three finger drag, which is one of the simplest gestures. Let me turn that on and you see now I can grab the top of the window. I can actually just grab it clicking down and moving around like before. But if I do three fingers, I can grab it as well. I'm not clicking down at all. I'm just putting my three fingers there. Now also notice in this window on the right here, you have these little videos showing you how each one works. So you can kind of get the idea. Now a lot of the gestures you're going to want to use are in the next two categories. So in scroll and zoom, you've got the scroll direction. Now this is important because Let's go to Safari, for instance, and we're looking at a page like this. To scroll up and down, you would use two fingers, and I would scroll. This is me going up on the trackpad. This is going down. Now, for some people, it seems counterintuitive, so you can easily switch between whether you want it to go up is up and down is down, or vice versa. So, you've also got zoom in and out, pinching with two fingers. This works on things like photos and PDF documents. Smart Zoom is part of that as well, where you tap with two fingers on, say, an image, and it zooms in to look at that image. And rotating will work on something like a photograph, uh, where you can rotate it around using two fingers. Under more gestures, we've got some of the most familiar gestures here. So swiping between pages in something like Safari is done with two fingers left to right. So let's go to Safari here and say I want to go from this Apple page to Mac Most. I can go back by simply swiping with two fingers to the right and it goes back there. And I can go the opposite way to go back to the page there. So it's just like hitting these back and forward buttons. Just a little nicer effect. It's easier to do. Now it's important to note that using multi-touch gestures is purely optional. There's always another way to get it done. You can click in the right spot, use a keyboard shortcut. There's always another way to do it. So if you have an older mouse or you have a trackpad that's not multi-touch or you just don't want to use them, you can always get the same functions accomplished another way. Now I've created a one-page printable 
handy guide to these gestures. You can download it for free at macmost.com slash j dash gestures and you can use that as a way to get familiar with them. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.